What's up you guys? Happy Friday. It's Susan Rad here with Clever News and it's about time you meet the newest heartthrob in town. Kissing Booth 2 star Taylor Zakar Perez is about to shake things up in the best way possible. Watch out Noah Flynn, there's a new kid in town and he's prepared to steal your girl if you don't act wisely. The sequel to Netflix's highly successful rom-com The Kissing Booth is officially available to stream and not only are we introduced to Elle's brand new love interest, but after watching his performance, there's no question fans will fall hard. That new guy Marco? He is seriously luscious. The OMGs literally described a hundred different ways Marco is a snack. Nice to meet you, but I'm a little hungry so I'm gonna go get myself a snack. Okay, side note, this next part of our story you can gather from just watching the trailer. But we will let you know before any spoilers in case you need to pause and come back after you've seen the film. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Okay, so in the film, Taylor plays the new guy at school, Marco, who shakes things up and puts a wedge in between Elle and Noah's now long distance relationship after Noah goes off to college and their trust starts to dwindle. While Elle is determined to make it work with Noah, she learns pretty quickly that life won't exactly be like this summer full of love and some new feelings start to develop between Elle and Marco. But before all you Elle and Noah fans start to villainize the new guy, Marco isn't exactly the antagonist in the film. The search to find a guy who audiences would have a hard time hating took four months, but Taylor revealed why exactly fans will fall in love with him. He said, quote, Everyone has or has had a Marco in their life. That silent champion, that supportive friend that you don't see maybe as anything more than a friend, but they're just always there for you and they want the best for you. He added, there's really nothing in exchange that Marco wants other than transparency and friendship from Elle, and maybe something more, but he's respectful. He went on to explain that his character is different from other rom-com love triangles, in large part due to the fact that he's just a good guy. Taylor revealed, more guys should be like Marco. The bad boy is overplayed, and you get your heart broken twice over, unless you have a proponent of emotional intimacy and support and transparency. Speaking of full transparency and perfectly worded responses, fans can't help but wonder, is Taylor single? He opened up to Glamour in a new interview saying, I'm not dating anyone, and was then asked if he would consider dating a fan. After thinking about it for a while, he laughed and responded by saying, you know, that's a good question. Hmm, like I'm a fan of Joey King and wish that she would date me, you know what I mean? He added, I feel like it's different if you're in the same industry with each other and a fan of each other's work. I don't want to say no because you never know. What if you date someone that doesn't know who you are but then becomes a fan of your work? And when asked if he has a type, he said, I love adventurous people, someone that says yes all the time. I paddleboard and hike and surf, so I feel like my friends are my type. I'm a huge proponent of dating friends or people you've had heart to hearts with before you become intimate. Emotional intimacy is way more important to me than sexual intimacy. Okay, now like I foreshadowed earlier, there's a few spoilers ahead, so proceed with caution if you have not yet watched Kissing Booth 2. If you need to hear pause and go watch it, we'll be right here to pick up where you left off when you get back. Alright, that was your warning, so don't at me if you keep tuning into the next part. Okay, so fans who have already tuned into the sequel are falling hard for Taylor's character Marco. So much so that many believe he should have been the one who Elle chose in the end. One user wrote, It broke my heart when Marco said, yeah, she is, after one of his friends said Elle is not worth it. OMG, the way he was looking at Elle and Elle didn't even notice him. She did him dirty. Marco was the superior choice. Another fan tweeted, Was low-key happy Elle kissed Marco, because I thought Noah's ass was cheating. Oops. With all this said, fans are dying to know whether there's a possibility of a third movie, considering Kissing Booth 2 ends on a massive cliffhanger. Don't worry guys, I won't go into any more spoilers, but Joey King did address the rumors of a third movie during a recent interview on the Today Show and also revealed that she is fully on board. She said, quote, Me and the cast have been talking and we want that so badly. We're kind of relying on the fans to help us out. They love the first one so much, they're the reason that we got a sequel. So if they love this one and they make it known to the world and to Netflix, our fingers are crossed that Netflix will give us a third movie because that's what we want really badly. It looks like it's up to you guys to decide whether you want to see the original cast return for a third film. Although Beck Riekels, the author of the novels that the movies are based on, doesn't have a third book written, we're sure if it came down to it, crafting up a new storyline would be a breeze. As for fans who have tuned into the sequel, many were left with unanswered questions following the ending's cliffhanger. 
one unhappy fan alluded to the fact that Jacob may not even come back for a third movie, saying, What the actual f was the ending of The Kissing Booth 2? Why y'all ended like y'all making a third one when I know y'all not gonna convince Jacob to come back for a third one? Ooh, y'all did us dirty. That wasn't the happy ever after I f wanted with Noah and Elle. Another user wrote, Kissing Booth 2 was good, but the way things ended can't end like that. Part 3. It looks like The Kissing Booth 2 will result in many conflicting reactions, but that's what makes a good film, right? And for more updates on The Kissing Booth, you can click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all your thoughts on this newest character, and if you've tuned in already, what are your initial thoughts? Right here in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.